question, she'll go back to her group uh, and uh, get a answer, and then when you get the answer, Okay, so I, this is a man who will come and uh, tell me uh, which, what number, and then I will read out the question, and then you will have time to go back and talk, and then uh, but by that time I'll be asking the boys a question. So when then I ask them the question, when that's finished, I expect you guys to have an answer ready for me. So we, that way we'll be done very quick. All right? 55. What is the name of the creature the Prophet ﷺ used to travel through the heavens? What is the name of the creature the Prophet used to travel through the heavens? Alright, so that's your question. Yusuf, come up, what number? So, no, what, what number? Pick a number. 55. The first Qibla was towards which masjid? The first Qibla was towards which masjid? Okay, do you want their answer? What is their answer? Yes, that is correct. Alright, that is correct. So, the sisters get 55 points. And what is your answer? Very good. The, the brothers also get 55 points. Alright, so now... Uh, the, the brothers get to pick. What, what number? 60. 60? 60. 65. What, what number? What number? 45. 45. 45. 45. Alright, this question is a, and a, a history question. Who led the fight for women's right to vote? Who led the fight for women's right to vote? It's a history question. Forty-five. What are angels made from? What are angels made from? Yusuf, you ready? Okay, the answer is mine. We're not ready. We're gonna get the answer and then, so that way we get Cool. Think about it. Are you sure? Think about it. 45 points. You're going to get an easy question. No, no. It's a history question. In the world. What? Susan B. what? Susan B. Anthony. Very good. Susan B. Anthony. So the brothers get uh, 65 points. And what was your answer? Susan B. Uh, Anthony led the uh, for women's right to vote. Okay, and our answer is the light. The light. Very good, mashallah. So the sisters get 45 points. All right. So sister, what, how many points would you like to go for now? 60. 60. All right. Which country has the highest number of Muslims? Which country has the highest number of Muslims? What percentage of earth is covered by water? What percentage of earth is covered by water? Do you have an answer for me, Sister Yes. Indonesia is correct. Mashallah, so far everybody gave me correct answers. How many points? How many points? How many points? 60? Yusuf, do you have an answer for me? 75. Very good. Three fourths of the earth is covered by water. Very good. 85? Uh, what number? Give me a number. How many points? Yep. 
100. You're going to go for 100. And then they'll go for 102. All right. And 102. All right. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that the best fasting uh, to Allah uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala was that of Dawood alayhi wa sallam. How did Dawood alayhi wa sallam fast? Well, that's sad. If you don't know the answer, can the girls say the chance? Uh, no. You, you guys heard the question? Yes, how? What number? No, no. We have a lot of questions. What number is this? A hundred. This is random, so maybe. All right. How many of the Prophet's companions accompanied him on his trip from Medina to Cordoba and the name and name them? What? How many of the Prophet's companions accompanied him on his trip from Medina to Cordoba and named them? A hundred points, so this might be a little challenging. Music, what's your answer? Very good. Yusuf answer was uh, every other day. So he would fast on a Monday and not fast on Tuesday, fast on a Wednesday, but every other day. Very good. So these boys get 100 points. What is your answer? Sister, do you have an answer for me? Huh? Yeah, who traveled from Medina to Cordoba and what to with the Prophet and uh, their names? Uh huh. With him. Are you ready? The boys were very confident when they came to this uh, competition. Mashallah. So. Yes. None. Is that? I, I only take answers from Sisamah because I see I hear a lot of things. So you gotta you gotta get a consensus from everybody. None, none, none. Are you sure? Yes. Very good. That was a tricky question. That was a tricky question. But All right, Sister Matt. How many points, Sister Matt? How many points, Sister Matt? Alright, this is also this is a geography question. What is the name of the imaginary law, uh, line drawn from east to west on maps and globes? What is the name of the imaginary line drawn from east to west on maps and globes? There are certain teachers that should not be helping out. I hope uh, we know who we are. Alright. Um, Yusuf, how many points? Huh? How many points? A hundred? They're going to go for a hundred again. This is an English term. This might be easy, but it depends on your English. Okay. Giving an in inanimate object human characteristics. What is that term? Go take your time. Go. How many points? But that, that was for the boys. No, no, no. Can you repeat it again? Sure. What is the name of the imaginary line drawn from east to west on maps and globes? Are you ready, Yusuf? What is your answer? Personification. Very good. The boys get another 100 points. But you won't gain any points. All right. So the answer was latitude, latitude, parallel lines of latitude. All right. So how many points uh, is this about? Points. 
Right now, an update, the, if, if the, you guys can see, the sisters have 260, the brothers have 405. All right? 100 points. All right. This is, a, again, a uh, history question. What was the first Spanish settlement? What was the first Spanish settlement? What was the first Spanish settlement? Yusuf, how many points? A hundred? The, the brothers are also going to go for a hundred points. <coughs> Alright. This is a, a science question. The resistance of any physical object to change in its motion is called... The resistance of any physical object to change in its motion is called... That's your question. Oh, remember that there's chemistry questions, biology, physics. You gotta ask around, see who knows the answer. Sister Samad, you have an answer for me? Not yet. Huh? The first. What was the first Spanish settlement? What was the first Spanish settlement? All right, for the, for the brothers, the question was the resistance of any physical object to change in its motion. The resistance of any physical object to change in its motion is called blank. Inertia is the answer, and that is correct. So they get another 100 points. No, it's St. Uh, Augustine. St. Augustine. Sister. I don't know. No, you did not pronounce it wrong. It's St. Augustine, the first Spanish settlement. You guys should know this from your history class. All right? So, Sister Matt, how many points? Question is uh, Islamic study question. What was the animal with the people of the cave? What was the animal with the people of the cave? Alright, for the brothers, which prophet had uh, did not have a father? Which prophet did not have a father? For forty. 40 points, right? Five. Five. The brother said, what do you, what do you say? Isa, Prophet Isa, that is correct. And what do you, what is your answer? A dog. A dog, very good. So the sisters get, the sisters get 80 points and the brothers get 40 points. 45, all right? How many points, Yusuf? Pick a point. 100? They're gonna go for 100 again. So. Okay, person or th this is an English question. Person or thing in conflict with the main character is called the blank. Person or thing in the in conflict with the main character is called the blank. This is a hundred point question. All right, the sisters. This is a science question. Organic substances made from this element can. Uh, Wait, organic substances are made from this element and can hold up to four covalent bonds. What is this element? One more time. Organic substances are made from this element and can hold up to four covalent bonds. What is this element? You, you 
Yusuf, do you have an answer for me? What's the answer? Antagonists. They, they got it right again. A hundred points for the boys. Carbon? Carbon's correct. Yeah. Many, 75 points for the sisters. How many points does she have? No 95. I got 100, 190. 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? 90? Slavery was introduced to produce more of this. Slavery was introduced to produce more of this. Sister Samad, do you have an answer for me? Very good, mashallah. That is correct. It's actually 5,374 hadiths. All right, so do you, do you have an answer for me, uh, Yusuf? What is your answer? You want me to repeat the question? Or not? Huh? What is the answer? Huh? Cotton? No, cotton is not right. The right answer is tobacco. If you don't know the answer, can we do it? Okay, we'll do it. For now, I'll go. I just said that answer. So for now, we'll do it like that. Alright? Alright, so the sisters get uh, 90 points and the brothers don't get any points. At this time. Okay, how many points is Samad? 100. 100? Let me see if I have more because you guys... Uh, you guys took... Okay. Uh, Islamic study question. Who was the only companion mentioned in the Quran by name? Okay. Okay, who was the only companion mentioned in the Quran by name? Wait, think about it. It's 100 points. Think about it. How many points is it? 90? Uh, I don't think I have any more. You guys did all the 100 points. 90, 90. 90 yep. 90. Alright, science question. Besides humans, what is the smartest mammal? Besides humans, what is the, s the smartest mammal? Sister Samad, do you have an answer for me? Yes. Okay, so 9, nine no, how many? 100 points. 100 points for the sisters. Yep. 100 points. Do you have an answer for me, Yusuf? What is your question? Yeah. They say monkeys are the, sm the, the smartest besides uh, humans. Uh, that is wrong. Do you have an answer for me? One answer. Samantha is going to give me the answer and that's it. So you guys, you have it. 
So Samaj, did you answer that or did they help you? They, yeah. they answered that. Okay. Brother Seth, those are my students. There you go. Okay, mashallah, that's good. You have good students. Let me see how good my students are. What, what was the question? It says, name two organelles that are present in both eukaryotes and prokaryotic cells. Do you have two? I still have 80s. Wait, Yusuf, I need an answer because that's it. You don't have enough time. The question again and final time. To name two organelles that are present in both eukaryote and prokaryote cells. Yusuf, you gotta come. That's it. Raza, they, they gotta they get a chance. Huh? You, you, Yusuf's group says that there are no organelles in prokaryote. That is wrong. Do you have an answer for me, Sister Matt? Okay, so again, the question is name two organelles that are present in both eukaryotes and prokaryotes. Alright, so now you guys have to hurry up too. What was this somebody here? You have to say it. Cytoplasm and ribosome. Cytoplasm and ribosome, that is correct. Also the cell membrane, the cytoskeleton, all this stuff that they have in common. So the sisters get 60 points as well. Alright, so now update of the score. The sisters have 755, the brothers have 650. The sisters have taken the lead. The sisters are going to go for 80 points. Again, a science question. What kind of bond has electrons that are being shared unequally? What kind of bond has electrons that are being shared unequally? I need the name of the full bond. What kind of bond? The brothers have an English question. Comparing two things using like or as is called a blank. Comparing two things using like or as is called a blank. Sister so, Matt, do you have an answer for me? Brother Seth, can you? Brother Seth, yes. Can you sure. I'm gonna repeat it one more time. Everybody, if you guys stay quiet, you guys will hear me better. What kind of bond has electrons that are being shared unequally? All right, they're being shared unequally. There are two key words in there that you guys should be able to use. The brothers say simile, that is correct. If you use like or as, you're, you're using it as a simile. The brothers get 60 points. Brother said, yes. you need the name of the electron, right? No, the name of the bond. Polar. Polar is not right. I need the full name of the bond. I, I need to come out and say it because I hear too many. That is 
Zero, that is correct. How many points is that? 75 points for the sister. Okay. Alright, what was your answer, Yusuf? Very good, he said it right. All right, the quadratic formula, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared uh, or minus 4ac all over 2a. Very good, so how many points? 90 points. So an update for the brothers is 80, 800 and the sisters 910, still up by 110 points. How many points is the man? Okay, this, this, actually we talked about this today. Uh, who was the person that the Prophet Muhammad told Omar to ask for a supplication to be forgiven by Allah? We just talked about this. Full name, please. Full name. All right, the brothers uh, wanted to have a question. 85 points. How many exits are there in Al Minhal Academy? Total exits in Al Minhal Academy. You should know this. What is the answer, Sabah? Ibn Hud? products 